Okay, so we're talking about large format. Let's let's talk about uh, something relatively new uh, here at the FPP, uh, which we brought back. If you recall, uh, Matt and folks out there, uh, years ago, and for many years, we offered 4x5 X-ray film. The 8x10 dried up. Yeah, it's, it's drying up everywhere, yeah. And that's because, I mean, it's my dentist's fault, your dentist's fault, your doctor's fault. No, I'm serious. One day I went into my dentist's office, and lo and behold, their, their you know... It was all digital. Yes, their x-ray machine was, they were bragging about their new dig- digital technology. And I was just right. like, oh, really? So that happened all over the country here in the U.S. And I guess the demand for x-ray film has just become so much smaller... It's very niche, yeah. That when I went to purchase the 8x10, uh, it was gone. It was just it wasn't mm-hmm. available. So I did a lot of research, and I found um, some 4x5 x-ray film pre-cut, pre-boxed, uh, 25 sheets per box. It's cheaper than buying standard black and white film. Wow. Um, so, Matt, what are your... What are your for people shooting four by five, what are your thoughts on the FPP X-ray film? I've been so, you know, of course I was a tester on it, so I, I got the first like experimental sheets, and then well, you know once once everything was in the twenty-five sheet boxes, uh, thanks for sending me that box over. I I shot everything. I went outside. I did some landscape stuff prior to the lockdown. I I did some studio tests. Played with natural light. Uh, hot lights, LED lights, you know, all sorts of situations. And it's it's a really nice x-ray film. It's a, uh, I would say this is more of a traditional um, or what's called half-speed blue film. So x-ray can have a few different, like, speeds, essentially. And the speeds are all based on what type of light they're sensitive to. You've got your, so most x-ray films are orthochromatic. They don't see red light. I don't know if any of them are panchromatic, but then there's some see blue and green, which are usually the higher speed films, the full speed blue or green. Then your blue films are usually a little bit slower because they only see blue light and ultraviolet light. Mm -hmm. And then there's your half speed, which those are your higher resolution uh, films. Since this is a four by five film, a lot of time they have to have it be a higher res film than maybe the larger stuff because they can spread up, you know, spread more surface area around. So, this is like an ISO 5 um, blue speed film. And the look of it is, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like you're loading really, really, like you're using films that are very similar to what would have happened around the turn of the turn of the 20th century. So it's pretty neat. For, for people just starting out with 4x5, what, what's, what's the benefits of, what, I mean, overall, what are the benefits of using an X-ray film over a standard panchromatic Ilford or Kodak film? So I think it's it's higher resolution than trying to do like paper negatives, which is cool. You can still enlarge it. You can still scan it quite a bit better than you could a paper negative. But the other nice thing is like using paper, it's orthochromatic. So you can have a weak red safe light in the dark room and you can kind of do everything by inspection. You get to see the process. Oh, here's how I load the holder. So the way I used x-ray film Um, you know, uh, slightly before FPP started carrying it was I just learned the ropes. So I got all my mistakes out of the way on film that was much less expensive. And when something's less expensive, of course, you don't have that, that worry, that emotional connection. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, this costs so much. Why am I going to, you know, waste it on this? So now you're, you're kind of free to experiment, play around. Um, There's, you know, there's downsides to x-ray film, but I think the advantages outweigh the, um, the the risks i guess with shooting it and for learning it's excellent because you get to see everything right you get, to, you get to really analyze your process and once you've got that then you're not worried and then a four dollar piece of film isn't as scary if you if you practice on a 50 cent sheet of film you know mm. right so folks listening at home if you're shooting four by five we do now have the, the return of x-ray film and we'll we'll keep it here as long as people want it. It's as really as simple as that. We have a nice large batch of it. We'll have it for, definitely for the next uh, six to twelve months. And if it's popular enough, we will continue to you know we'll continue to bring it in. 